B101, 643 on a warm Monday. Tiffany and Michael Morning Show. We have a cloudy start, sun later on this afternoon, and it's going to get up to 83. Bust out the sandals. 51 now. Did you know that the animals at the Philadelphia Zoo are watching TV? Tony the Rhino loves to watch Ellen DeGeneres. This is all true. And we talked to Chris Bartos, one of the curators at the zoo, about this very thing. So you've trained your rhino to watch TV? We, we have not trained our rhino to watch TV. Our rhino just likes to watch TV on his own. Um, what we do with a lot of the animals when they're inside is um, we give them TVs or radios. So it kind of, you know, there's sound in the background. You know, we're close to the street so that, you know, if there's horns blowing, it doesn't frighten them. So there's always something going on in the background. Okay. back. This is kind of like what I do with my cat, Julie, if I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. I like to leave the TV on. It keeps her company. That's exactly what, what this it is. This is crazy. So Why th- is when, that crazy? When the animals are inside at the zoo... Well, Tiff, I already know you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you turn on B101 and uh, Ellen so they can have something to watch and, and relax and not be bothered by street noise. Exactly. It gives them a little bit of background noise, a little Never. bit of sound, and, you know, some of them, you know, really do pay attention to what's on television, and Tony's the perfect example of that. He loves the Ellen show. So how did this come about that you figured out that Tony loves Ellen DeGeneres? Well, how we found this out is he used to have, be living, he lived in a different exhibit um, when he first got here, and he lived next to our Carnivore Kingdom exhibit. And the keepers over there had a TV on for the Kawadis, which are small South American carnivores. And the keeper came to us one day and she said, every time at 3 o'clock when the Ellen Show comes on, Tony comes over to the wall and watches the Ellen Show. <laughs> and we're like, no, he, he doesn't do that. And then we start watching, he does. So when Ellen Show would come on, he would come over to the wall and start watching the Ellen Show. And we moved, he moved to his new barn, his new home, and we, he has a nice new 32-inch color TV, by the way. And we noticed at 3 o'clock when the Ellen Show would come over, he would walk over to the side of, oh. the, of his, his, his pen next to the TV and start paying attention to it. I love it. And we don't know if it's, you know, it could be her voice. There's mm-hmm. something about her voice that he found very appealing, but he's totally interested. And he doesn't have the same reaction to other television shows. How, what is a rhino's eyesight like? His eyesight's not that great, which is why I think it's her voice. There's something about the, her voice that he finds very appealing. I think Tony's got great taste. Ellen's very appealing. I think so, too. I think she's hysterical. <laughs> and does he watch the whole show, or does he just like the intro? And, I or, think he mostly watches the intro. Yeah. And then when all the guests come on, I think he gets bored and he wanders off. Well, it depends on who the guest is. It Sometimes I find myself... That's, that's yeah. like people, too. Yeah. Changing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does he have a, he has his own TV? How many TVs do you have back there? Well, a lot of the animals get them. Um, luckily, our, our zoo docents are wonderful when it comes to donating things. So Tony's um, big television was donated by some of our docents. So that was a wonderful thing for them. And we figured he's got, you know, his eyesight's not that great, so he has a big color TV. But you, you've got 20 TVs back there, 40? Um, we probably, probably maybe have like 20, 25 at the zoo. That um, is so funny. <laughs> yeah, they're different, each animal, you know, different animals have them. Some animals don't care too much. Some animals really do like them. They're really just like us. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has a radio, though. <laughs> oh, good, good. We're glad to hear that. We yeah. want our proper place with the animals. <laughs> <laughs> that is the just the cutest story. So you must have gotten in touch with the Ellen people. I think so. I haven't heard back, but I'm hoping that, you know, she she realized that, you know, we have a rhino here that just absolutely loves her. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like something that uh, as soon as Ellen is made aware of, yeah, that she would do something about that. I we, we would hope so. Thanks so much, Chris. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Chris Bartos from the Philadelphia Zoo. It's Tiffany and Michael. Six-